This is the ES450 final project with Ryan Martinez, Mike DiNonato, and Andrew Wolf. We are presenting the NoBot. Uh, okay, so upon startup, our camera <clears throat> takes the reference centroids of four um, blocks noted by the blue stars on the screen, um, and it sets up boxes around the blocks on the screen. This sets up our graphical user interface upon which each block will control a degree of freedom of the score bot if the blue star gets outside of the white lines. We have the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, and rotation. So, for example, if we move our x up and outside of no, no. As you can see, it's proportional to how far outside of the box it is. So the further outside of the box it goes, the more it moves the score bot. Moves a little bit, and then it moves a lot now. And you can see oh, this works boy. for all the degrees of freedom. That is our z-axis. <laughs> Bring it down and rotate. Is there a way to softly pick stuff up? And so it doesn't move uh, multiple axes. It doesn't move each axis at the same time. If we have a y and rotation at the same time, it will do y and then rotation. It will just keep repeating in that cycle. It can't do it all at once. Go ahead and type another one. So right now we have positive Y in Z or in rotation. And the last thing to note is when you close the program, if you decide to restart it, you can set the blocks anywhere you'd like. And on startup, it will pick out the reference. So you can see the white boxes around uh, the blocks, regardless of where they are on the screen, they don't have to be in the middle. And that is our ES450 final project, the NoBot. Beat Army.